Hi, I'm Ben and welcome to All About Space. Today's question is, what if a star near Earth went supernova? It's from Ed Williamson and it's been answered by Professor Craig Wheeler from the University of Texas. A supernova closer than about 30 light years away would damage the ozone layer that protects us from the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Surface life might die of sunburn, not the supernova itself. Supernova irradiation might then cause mutations in any surviving life. There's some possibility that material ejected from a nearby supernova could buffet the magnetopause of the Sun or Earth, exposing us to ultraviolet radiation or cosmic rays, but it's not clear how dangerous that is. Matter from the supernova would move more than 10 times slower than light, so that would be more than 300 years for a supernova 30 light years away, meaning the original flash of light would give us plenty of warning. So what about a star like Betelgeuse, which is ready to blow? At 640 light years away, Betelgeuse is close enough to be interesting and very bright to the human eye, but not close enough to be dangerous if it went supernova. Astronomers would know that Betelgeuse has exploded before we even see it. The light of the explosion would be slowed down as it passes through gas surrounding the dying star. However, ghostly particles called neutrinos will pass straight through and beat the light here. That will herald the start of Betelgeuse gradually getting brighter. The Betelgeuse supernova will take time to ramp up to its maximum brightness. This will take about a week or two. It will drop in brightness by a factor of 10 over a couple of weeks. Then its brightness will plateau for a month or so before tailing off further. If you've got a question for us, then please send it in to questions at spaceanswers.com. Alternatively, you can tweet us on Twitter at Space Answers or contact us on Facebook. Thanks for watching All About Space.